Hello. Welcome to my channel. If it's the first time you come to my channel then our channel make videos to predict, surmises and gossips about the Cory TV shows. Today, we are going to discuss about the Cory Street. Whether Cory may get away with the despicable crime. Why? Coronation Street's Cory Brent has become the prime suspect in the death of Seb Franklin, but will his privileged background help him evade justice? Seb Franklin played by Maximus Evans, was tragically killed, after he and Nina Lucas were attacked by Corey Brent, and a gang of other thugs. Although Shah Rauhan decided against giving her boyfriend a false alibi, the Coronation Street actor warned his character may get away with the despicable crime. The ITV soap has confirmed the aftermath of Seb's death will see residents of Weatherfield pitted against each other. Coronation Street will also tackle class issues as the police work towards finding out who was culpable for the attack. Speaking to press, Maximus revealed Corey will be sticking around for a while. Maximum began. I think what Corey does best, is the ability to almost in a way drag out those storylines, so they can give full awareness to what we're trying to promote. With a character like Corey, it would be interesting, if he was around for a while so that people, especially the younger viewers, can really enter the brutality of the story, and how those kind of devils are walking around among us, looking exactly like us. I hope that he gets his commupants as does everybody, he continued. I'm definitely at the moment the most hated man in Manchester. But I'd like to see him get his commupants. It just depends how, and when. Foster child Kelly Nealon who was present at the attack, has been racked with guilt ever since. Corey may realize she's an easy target, to frame and her violent family's past could help prove she's the most likely suspect. Will Corey evade justice for the horrific crime as Coronation Street fans learn more about his upbringing and influential parents? Meanwhile, speaking out on the reaction he's received from viewers, Maximus said. It's been interesting. I'm not massive on social media myself, but I have to say the past week I have been trying to be as active on Twitter as I can be. But generally the responses are actually quite nice, especially the stuff I get tagged in. It's more responses to the acting than the character himself, he added. Hess not a nice guy, but I just hope people can differentiate the two, between me and Corey. I was out in Manchester this weekend, and I had a few people coming up to me which at first I was thinking they were maybe coming up to give a bit of abuse. But there's been none of that. People are actually praising the performance, rather than the actual character which is nice. Meanwhile, the ITV soap has confirmed the Shah's motives are not as they seem as she continues to defend Corey. In upcoming scenes, Ashar's twin brother Adi confronts her over where her loyalty lies. He's furious with his sister for defending Corey, after everything he's done, but suspects she might be keeping something from him. Ashar breaks down, and admits she hates her boyfriend, and is trying to keep him on side, so she can find out the truth, and bring him to justice. Adi admits he's concerned for his sister, and urges her to be careful. However, Ashar's mind is made up, and she argues that, because Corey underestimates her, he may just slip up. So that's all we want to talk about the Corey Street. Whether Corey may get away with the despicable crime. Why? If you like our content and want to support the channel, or watch more videos like this, do not mind to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, so that you not miss any of these. Have a great one. Goodbye.